Hey y'all, it's Laura with Coxburg Creations, part-time picker, thrifter, and reseller in Central Mississippi. And I've got another haul for you today. Not a big haul, just kind of a small haul from the Goodwill Outlet, from the bins. Um, I try to go to the bins one day a week. I think I've said before, um, with my job, I, um, I travel one, sometimes two days a week. So when I get off, um, I like to hit the bins. Um, it's just because I live in an area where there isn't anything. So I have to travel hour north, hour south, you know, 30, 40 minutes, either east or west to find any thrift stores or Goodwills or anything like that. So when I'm working in those areas, when I get off, I try to hit some of those so I can do some sourcing. And it's quick sourcing. It's not as much sourcing as I, was li I would like um, because they're closing too. But I did pick up some stuff. When I go to the bins, I kind of have that, um, that a little bit of that FOMO, um, you know, either when I get there, they do a change out. I get through like two bins and they do a change out. Or when I get there, they've just done a change out. But then around 4, 4.15, they're going to be like... You have X number of minutes. You have X number. Start bagging up your stuff because they want you at the register at like 4.30, 4.40 so they can get everybody checked out and they can get out of there by 5. So it is kind of a rush and I always have this fear of I didn't get to check that bin. I didn't get to check that bin. What am I leaving behind? But that's just how it goes, right? So let's check out what I got um, this week and my area. It's not any cleaner, as you can tell. You can't even see what's here, and you can't even see what's here, which is a good thing. So, I picked up this red chaps um, button down. Do you say button up or button down? Is it just easier to say button front? It is a 3XLT, and it's called their chamois work shirt. It's a chaps chamois work shirt. It does have... Um, a little something, I don't know that the camera's going to pick it up. It just kind of looks a little, like a little white spot here. So I haven't, I haven't, I, I've washed everything else that I could wash. And I forgot to put this in, so I've got to add it to the laundry. But I like to pick up those big sizes, a 3XLT. I think this is going to go well. This is a vintage Alabama Roll Tide ivory sweater so you can see the alabama there and the elephant it is um the tag is not tacked down on one side but i'm not going to try to tack it down i'm just going to let whoever decides they want it get it it is a college wear by gepner and it is an extra large so i can't really decide if this would have been a men's extra large um or a ladies, it's a V-neck. I don't know if this is like a preppy men's sweater. Um, the sleeves were kind of long on me when I slipped it on. If you can see that, they were kind of long on me. Um, but as far as like fit, um, I think a lady large could probably wear this. A lady extra large could probably wear this. Um, I don't know, but a men's extra large, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, I, I was, I don't know. I just glad I found that. Uh, this is a Willow Ridge Ladies Petite Tapestry Snowman Jacket. It's got the snowman. It's tap the tapestry kind of woven jacket. Um, for a ladies petite, um, I'm by no. The only thing petite about me might be my size. But for a ladies petite, I think this is a very roomy jacket. Now, um, on, on somebody who's taller than I am, I'm only like 5'3". For somebody who's taller than me, the sleeve length may be an issue because this hits me right at my wrist. Um, but as far as, I, I, I don't really call this a petite in size, really. Uh, I wish I had pockets. I love pockets, but, um, you know, I would even think a petite, a truly petite person, um, 
this may be even a little big, you know? I don't know. That's just my opinion because I'm not through the body, no means am I petite. The only thing petite about me is uh, my height, maybe. So anyway, I think that'll sell well this time of year. I picked up these Pampered Chef um, accessory forks. Pampered Chef accessory forks. It's a set of two, and they still have all their paperwork with them. I don't think they'll sell for a lot. I think they're like, like little appetizer forks, you know, sticking olives or something like that. They won't sell for a lot, but I didn't pay a lot for them either, so that's that's good. You can turn some sort of profit there. Um, they're still in the box. The box is in good condition, so. I picked up these um, napkins just because I thought they were so pretty. So they've all got to be folded. They're just threshold, which is what um, Belk maybe or somebody like that. And I, re I worked really hard to try to find them all. <clears throat> and I only found 11. So I don't know if I'll do like a set of six, a set of four, and throw in an extra on one of the orders. I'm not sure yet, but they are they don't even look like they've been used, honestly. So I have 11 of them. Um, this was the first thing when I got to the bins that day, um, there were no buggies. So I kind of just hung out at the first couple of bins and was digging through them and kind of eyeballing people as they go up to the checkout. So maybe I can snag a cart. Um, so anyway, this is a Sherpini, Sherpani. I'm not sure. It's kind of an orangey suede, a burnt orange. Um, it's got a little daisy figure up here. It's got a floral pattern on the inside. So it's got pockets on the inside. It's got a zippered pocket here, a zipper pocket here, a magnetic pocket here. Um, I guess maybe, yeah, it could be a crossbody for sure. So I just thought it was cute. It was in good condition. Nice little fall crossbody piece. Um, I haven't even taken the rubber band off of these. Our Goodwill is really good about, and I'm not saying it's the Goodwill. It's probably the people who donated it. Some people will rubber band their shoes together so they don't get lost or, um, you know, one in one bin, one in the other kind of thing. So these are Cabela's, like little duck boots, like little water, water shoes. They're not boots, like little water shoes. Um, and they are in excellent condition. Um, and I'm guessing they're a ladies six. So, yep. Hey, Macy. My husband has called me twice while I'm trying to do this video. Hey, Macy. She can't hear me. Anyway. He's going to, he'll probably end up calling her because he didn't get me. All right. This is a Jane Copeland little girl's navy dress. I don't know that it's cherries because they're not bunched together. Um, or if it's supposed to be an apple, but little red and green leaves, little belted back. Hey, Macy, what? text your daddy and tell him I'm doing a video. Okay. This is the third time he's called, which he'll start to worry about us. All right, this is a free people. I put my readers on for free people. A free people size six army green skirt with the little buttons and some of them. It, they're just unbuttoned. Um, I just thought it was cute. Um, I have some free people that goes really quick and some free people that sits a while. So it's just a toss up on the style and things like that. I picked up another bag just because there were a lot of bags at the bins this day. A lot of purses, a lot of backpacks, a lot of luggage bags. Um, so I don't know if that was all one donation, but this is a little backpack. It's got a little guitar. 
um, denim, little corduroy, green corduroy with some um, flowers. And it is a, um, a Stephen Joseph. I, I really don't know anything about it. It's just, I thought it was cute and somebody might want it. So anyway, this is a J. Crew. Um, I think it's, let me double check. Yeah, it's 100% merino wool. Um, kind of a teal green with the heart sweater. So, uh, J. Crew merino wool and let me see what size. If it is a size. Um, I don't know if that's a size. It says 12, but I don't know that that's necessarily a size. Anyway, 100% uh, merino wool, J. Crew, teal green with a pink heart. Um, it may not sell right away, but I was just kind of thinking Valentine's. When I picked up that other tapestry jacket, I saw this tapestry cat vest. Um, and it just, to me, it says late 80s, early 90s. I know I had some tapestry vests when I was in school. I didn't, I don't think they had cats on them. Pretty sure they didn't. Um, this is Imaginations. It says it's a medium large. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna venture to say it's probably in today's sizing um, a small. I don't even know that it would be a medium at all. I'm not necessarily a chesty, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd probably put that one in a small category. Um. Picked up this Green Bay jersey. It is a ladies jersey because it's got the bling kind of up here. It is NFL gear. And, of course, the sizing looks to be pretty faded. I have to maybe put that in a light because it's a black tag. Anyway, it's an Aaron Rodgers. And I know his uh, status with the Packers um, is kind of gray right now that this may be his last year so i thought i would pick it up while he's still playing and um somebody might need it this is a men's just gray nike golf pants um they are a 36 32 just in really good condition really good condition i picked up this pfg columbia uh, vented blue shirt. Um, it's a size large. These do okay for me. A lot of people in our area wear these, but um, I, I really thought about bundling it because I picked this up too. It's a Columbia. It's kind of that dry fit, um, cool material. It's a it's a PFG, um, and. I'm pretty sure it's a large also. So I thought about maybe bundling them together and maybe somebody locally will buy that. So anyway, we'll see. Picked up another pair of Nike shorts. I think these are a small. So I think I have seven pair of small Nike shorts now. And I, I'm, I thought about bundling them. The only thing is I have three that are identical. They're the black and white, they're identical. So, I don't know. I may bundle them and try to sell them locally and see. And then, if they don't sell, um, I may do a smaller bundle. This is just an O'Neill large, just a black jacket. It's nothing special. Um, I know O'Neill can do pretty good. And when it's at the bins and it's very lightweight, you're not paying anything for it. So, it's just kind of a black windbreaker. Um... This is a small large that I'm going to tell you. It's it's a small large. I put this more in like a medium category. Um, picked up another jacket. This is um, Indigo Palms by Tommy Bahama, and it's got the Indigo Palms 
and the palm tree kind of embroidery on the back. It is um, a medium. I don't know what kind of medium it is. Um, I don't know if this is a man's medium. I find it hard to believe that a man might would walk around with that embroidery on the back of his jacket, but it is a generous medium. So it hits me about, you know, at the hip level and it's, it's a pretty generous medium. So I don't know if this was an oversized jacket back in the day, cause it is an older jacket. It's an older denim jacket. Um, Tommy Bahama Indigo Palm, medium, generous sizing with the embroidered back. All right, this really took, uh, I think I'm gonna save it for last. I think I'll save it for last. So, at first I thought this was homemade. <laughs> like, somebody, like somebody's grandmama made it. But then I saw the tag and then I did a quick Google search and realized, no, it's not. Um, this is Howard Wolf Boutique. It is vintage. It is an open back. This top part almost feels felt. Um, I don't, there's, there is no um, size tag any longer. There is no material tag, but it is a full length with pockets, <laughs> plaid bottom, wool. Um, I just don't think the top is wool. Um, but it may be, but I mean, it's not felt, it's heavier than felt, but it's not as scratchy of a wool as the bottom part is. So anyway, um, I'm going to have to include some measurements, I guess. Um, is that a pin? I don't know what that is. There's something like sticking out of the bottom of the pocket. So I may have to kind of investigate that. I think it's a straight pin. It is. It's a straight pin. Okay, glad I found that. Wonder if that means there's a hole in it. No? No hole. Let me check the other one, make sure there's not a pin in it. Nope, it's good. So anyway, I haven't decided how I'm gonna price that one yet because I've seen um I've seen comps on the Howard Wolf stuff anywhere from the 29 to 129 and I think it just depends on the pattern the style the age things like that I don't I've looked for this particular dress and I can't find it um so I don't know I may just start it high and let it ride and see how it goes see if it has interest see if it has offers things like that um I definitely will put that on objects limited and see how it does over there um who knows? We'll see. All right. We've got two more items. This is... Let me unzip it. Oh, no. The zipper may be busted. Let me see if I can... Ah, uh, I didn't see. I'm so bad about noticing little things. My sister-in-law is a pretty good professional almost on fixing zippers and um and Greg does really well with zippers too because his zippers on his uh coveralls that he hunts in bust out all the time all right let's see this is an extra large members only jacket yeah oh yeah Oh, yeah extra large members only tan khaki jacket real flashbacks there <laughs> so anyway I've got one more item I don't think the members only jackets go for that much honestly but anyway I didn't want to leave it so <clears throat> This is, like, when I saw this, it just took me back to my childhood. I was in, so, before you could do Girl Scouts, if you were younger, you did brownies. And so, this is a brownies vest. 
It is the Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi group, I suppose. Maybe Troop 634. It has some patches on it. And look at the ones on the back. How fun is that? Food collection, pizza fun, 1997 Girl Scout Thinking Day. Um, Juliet Low World Friendship, Ice Chalet, Service Given from the Heart, Bears That Care, Sleepover, 96.97, Roller Skating, Let's Go to the Hop, 96.97, uh, Cookie Volunteer, 1997, um, Girl Scouts 85th Birthday, so I just, I didn't want it to go to a dump, you know, it's got a bag with some extra patches that have not been applied, and it has a bag with, um, like, the, um, a Girl Scout handkerchief. So, this says, um, this is a 1997, um, I think it shows you, like, different ways to fold the handkerchief. Um, I don't know what all this means. It has, like, the sign language. Um, anyway, I just thought it was cool, and I hated to see it to go to a dump. There's some little girl somewhere who worked really hard to earn those badges, and, um, I just wanted to save it, and I thought somebody might, might take an interest in it and might like that. So anyway, it's a small haul. It's not a whole lot. I did pick up two pair of dark gray um, light new softball pants for my niece to practice in. And mm, I don't think I picked up anything for our family. Usually I find a little something for somebody. But like I said, I did pick up those two pair of softball pants. So that's it for this haul. I've got everything washed that I felt comfortable washing. Um, I didn't want to wash that Howard Wolf dress, and it's in good condition. It doesn't smell or anything like that. I did not want to wash the Alabama sweater. Um, it doesn't seem to have any stains or anything, no smell. So, you know, I'll let whoever decides to purchase those handle that. And so I'm going to work today. I'm getting them listed and <clears throat> cleaning up this disaster. So I hope you all have a great day. Let me know if you saw something you like. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm really working hard to try to get my subscriber numbers up and hit the like button. And thanks for watching.